Hey friends, it's Vicky. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about one of my favorite, but also not so favorite things. It's like a love-hate relationship because it takes so much work. Hair care. I have pretty long, uh, dry, curlyish, wavy hair. What you're seeing here today is like pretty much my natural texture. I just curled the tips a little bit with rollers last night, not like the whole thing. I have a lot of hair, it's very thick. It tends to be more on the dry side and sometimes it can be quite the B word to take care of it. Ooh, my tummy's growling, Ugh, I'm hungry. Can you guys hear that? Ugh, I'll feed you soon, just, just be patient. So yeah, I did a video on hair care about maybe two years ago. And so I thought I would do an update video. Some stuff remained the same, but there's definitely a few new things that I've been doing that I feel have really helped improve my hair. And so I wanna share that with you guys out there as well. And if you don't have long hair like me, these tips can still help. Also likewise texture, like you can, pick and choose what makes the most sense for your hair. A lot of the things that I do actually are very similar to the curly girl method. So it's kind of sort of, I guess, like the curly girl method, even though I've never really followed it, to be honest, I don't really know what the curly hurl method, curly hurl, Ew. I don't really know what the curly, girl method fully entails. I mean, I have an idea, but I've never really followed it strictly. Um, but I mean, if, if you think about it, the curly hurl, hurl, I cannot speak today. The curly girl hair method is basically just like a combination of best practices for your hair type, depending on the curls you have, they do different things. But anyways, another one of the awesome things about this video today is that all of the products that I'm showing you and the products that I use are cruelty free. So yes, starting with the washing and drying portion of the hair, I only wash my hair now once a week, um, pretty much that's it. I think when I first did this video, I was doing like two times or so, or like every other day, I don't remember. But now it is only once a week, uh, I dialed it back even more and that is because um, I noticed that I was having uh, some hair dryness and that was especially because uh, when I did that video and I had said it, like I don't really dye my hair but I had just recently dyed my hair and so that dried my hair um, a lot more and just in general, like because my hair is naturally also very dry, I came to the conclusion that washing only once a week is did you guys hear that growl or was it just me? I am so hungry. Stop interrupting me. Yeah, I realized that just washing it once a week was the best for my hair. It's not very oily. I know some of you tend to have more oily hair, like Mason, for example, has extremely oily hair, so he has to wash it every single day. But for me, that would never work. My hair would just fall apart. I will make an exception sometimes if I have like a really, really hard workout where I'm like super sweaty and gross, like I go hiking or something, or I'm out at a barbecue and my hair gets all stinky and you know, just, you know, there are exceptions, but for the most part, it's only once a week. And also washing hair that is this long and this curly is a pain in the butt and you don't wanna be doing that every single day or even every other day. When it comes to washing, when I do wash my hair, I am currently using the Diva Curl No Poo Decadence um, Zero Lather Ultra Moisturing Milk Cleanser. That is a mouthful, but it's basically the uh, cleanser by Diva Curl. I'll do close-ups because you can't really see it here. It's too bright. This is, for example, part of the Curly Girl method. Um, and actually when I got it, I had no idea it was part of it. So my conditioner, my shampoo is recommended to me by my brother. And then when I told him like, hey, this is part of it. He's like, oh yeah, I kind of follow the method. So um, yeah, I got it without knowing, but apparently it's part of it. And it really is a great shampoo. I will have to say that when I first started using it, it felt kind of weird. They say you do have to uh, do a kind of cleansing shampoo that gets all of the muck and like the product out. I think it's the VO5 Albert Kiwi shampoo. So I did that and I, again, I didn't know that it was part of the curly hair method. I was just doing what my brother recommended because he takes really great care of his hair because he has super dry and even curlier hair than me. But I would say that I after like maybe four washes or so, I started feeling like the moisture more. It just started working better with my hair. And so I really, really love this. I use like two or three pumps every time. I do have a lot of hair, but uh, yeah. There are quite a few different lines of the Diva Curl um, No Poo shampoo. This one specifically is a Zero Lather Ultra moisturizing milk cleanser, so the milk cleanser. Um, I've never used any other one of their no poo shampoos, but 
this one has the best reviews, so I'm kind of happy and I don't feel like um, trying something else. I will have to say that this one's a little bit harder to come by, maybe because it's more popular. I mean, you can find it on their website and you can find it on Amazon as well, but there's less options for it, like less sellers. I'll link the one that I always go to down below, but, um, and this one's lasted me a really, really long time as well. I've had it for at least five months now and I'm a little bit uh, more than halfway through it. So washing it once a week as well really, really helps, but it goes a super long way it is kind of pricey uh, this one cost me $25.99 which was actually a really good deal but for the most part it's like around $35 or so but I mean it's worth it for me and especially considering that the conditioner is um, only a dollar so this one's also recommended as part of the girl girly I cannot say that curly girl hair method and it is the Alberto v05 strawberries and cream with soy milk protein conditioner these names for these products oh my goodness and this one's only a dollar so you can find this one at the 99 cent store maybe also at the dollar store so i feel like it kind of makes up for the fact that you know i'm buying a pricier than usual at least usual than what i would buy shampoo um and only buying this it's for a dollar this is supposed to be really really moisturizing it has five vitamins and oil and oils it's also paraben and silicone free which is awesome so I love this conditioner. I go heavy on this one. Sometimes I use it as a leave-in conditioner. Well, I'll wash it and then I'll rinse it out and then I'll grab a little tiny portion and leave it in and not rinse it out. And it, it really does just feel healthier and shinier ever since I've been using this. So strongly recommend it. And it also smells great amazing it smells like strawberries and cream like i just want to eat it so now when it comes to drying again another one of the curly girl hair methods which i didn't know was a part of it but hair plopping i do the hair plopping i just started that one about like five months ago and i had heard about hair plopping for years but i just never cared to do it and i had even seen tutorials on it but i was just kind of like i don't know that it really makes a difference and i always just dried my hair with those regular towels that we use for our body and I didn't realize how much damage and like frizz how much it was just not being cooperative using those types of towels on my hair until I started doing hair plopping with just t-shirts so if you don't know what hair plopping is and I'll insert a clip here of me doing it it's basically you taking a t-shirt or I believe some other some people like to use like silky fabric something that's not gonna create a lot of friction with their hair and you literally lay it down on a flat surface that fabric you turn your head over your wet hair after a shower and you plop it down and then you just tie it over your hair until it dries. Some people like to sleep that, that like that. I just usually do it until it's like dry enough. It's been working great for me. I see that it helps to find my curls a lot better. For me, hair plopping, the biggest difference I've seen is in the definition of my curls. It just really helps bring things in more because when you have curls, doing this um, is what really helps, like scrunching things up, just putting them like Letting them dry in that form, it just really enhances and, and makes your curls a lot prettier. And even if you have long straight hair, I've seen girls that do that and um, it, it helps and bring their waves out too. So yeah, when it comes to brushing, I am only brushing my hair about once a week and that's only right before I take a shower. I don't like brushing my hair after I shower it unless I am going to style it like into curls like for my vintage hairstyles. Like I'm gonna put it up in rag curls. Obviously I wanna brush it out to get that um, set in nicely and smoothly. But other than that, I'm not brushing my hair throughout the week unless I get like a really bad tangle back here which I usually tend to get those because I have a lot of frizzies back here. Um, I'll brush that part out but not brushing my hair. And the reason I do that is because I don't want my curls to get undefined and messed up. I just like to keep them the way I have them right now. And when I do brush them right before I get into the shower and get all any tangles that I have out, I am using a paddle brush. Brushes are a very funny thing. You really need to find the right type of brush for you. But overall, I wanna say that you wanna use a type of hair brush that is not going to be tugging and pulling your hair out. I had that mistake for many years where like I was using brushes that were just not right for me they were really cheap until i got started getting the hang of it and i have this one which i've been using recently i don't know the brand my mom actually gave it to me but she found this one at the dollar store it was one of those lucky finds and usually dollar store brushes are not great but this one was like a really good quality one and it's just like your general paddle brush actually it's not because there's some paddle brushes that are crappy i don't know what the technology is behind this one i'm sorry i'm not being that helpful in recommending the brush but yeah do your experimenting and make sure you're using the brush that's right for your hair type 
Um, I know that the curly girl hair method recommends the demon brush. No, not demon brush. Jesus. Denman brush. Can you imagine a demon brush? The Denman brush. I've never used it before. People with curly hair swear by it. I'm not going to buy it because I have this one and I really like it. It doesn't pull my hair and it works for me. So yeah. The other thing, and I said this in my previous hair care video as well, is that you want to sleep with protective hairstyles, especially if you have long hair like mine that can easily get tangled. I used to always just fall asleep whatever and I'd wake up with like a big old mane and get lots of tangles. I was always the type of girl that just didn't do that and care but I've learned my lesson and I've been more mindful about it so I tend to put my hair in either braids or for the most part like in a just high bun should be pretty straightforward but it wasn't for me so in case you haven't thought about that just putting it out there then continuing as for styling I am still not really doing any heat I have very much less like I think last time I said I wasn't really straightening my hair I am still not straightening my hair even less now. Sometimes I'll use the curler if I didn't set my hair with rollers, but for the most part, I'm doing my hair only with rollers these days, like rag curls or stuff like that, stuff that does not require heat. And I mean, that again, really helps me with my vintage hairstyles, but you can even do those even if you're not into vintage and you wanna get curly hair. And I feel like the curls last even more than if you were to do your curls with a curling iron. Curling irons for me are only like in case of an emergency or if I didn't have time to set my hair the night before and I really need to. But yeah, only rollers, no heat. And I have a couple of videos on how I do my curls. Um, so you guys can check that out on here if you want to. And in terms of styling products, because I am doing those rag curls, I do use a setting lotion. I believe I had read that setting lotions for the most part, there were a lot that could be very damaging to the hair. And so I didn't even want to go into that territory. So I did my research and I found a type of setting lotion. It's not officially a setting lotion, I think. I mean, it is, but it's a twist out foam. So this is for like really curly, coily hair, but your hair doesn't have to be that texture. I've seen girls that use this that have like straighter hair than me and they use it for setting their hair for vintage curls or just for general curls. Um, so this is the Jane Carter Solution Natural Twist Out Foam and it is cruelty free. It smells amazing and it does not damage your hair. I haven't really seen any damage. Sometimes it does feel a little like, I don't know what it is. There's something in this product that like when you're applying it, something in your fingers feels a little bit tiny bit sticky but it doesn't really bother me and then like when i undo my hair like it's still very soft i actually use it on the tips like i said last night a little bit and as you can see it's very like bouncy and it still looks shiny and smooth so uh it didn't it doesn't harm my hair so it's great i recommend it i'll link it down below i'll try to find links for most of the stuff or i'll tell you in the description where you can find them and then last for styling products the other thing that i continue to use that i mentioned in the last video and that i still love and i can never get over is the ogx argan oil of morocco these names are so long with extra penetrating oil for dry and coarse hair so this little baby is freaking amazing it's like butter it's so silky and smooth when you apply it on your fingertips and when you rub it all over it just feels so nice so this is uh, something that I use like when I'm styling my hair um, either with heat which I don't really do like I said or not even for heat just when my hair is like frizzy or just every day like um, if I don't have yeah I just use it all the time I tend to just put a little bit on it helps define my curls even better OGX has just done a really great job with this product their hair oils are amazing you can just tell the difference right away as soon as you put it and it doesn't soak up right away like that's one of the things about hair oils that they tend to just like it feels nice for a little bit and then later you're like oh kind of like dried up or soaked up this one stays on there and you can feel it for a while for the very last thing in terms of hair treatments i don't really buy any products long time ago i used to do like different types of hair masks and stuff but these days it's really low maintenance for me i am using coconut oil the holy grail of natural products this is the organic virgin coconut oil uh, from trader joe's and i eat this i put it on my skin i put it on my hair i put it on my boo-boos like whatever like this is so multi-purpose functional the one thing about coconut oil if you haven't ever put it on your hair or done a hair mask is that it is a pain in the butt to get out i will tell you that you especially if you're using something like the no poo which is not very harsh like the whole point of that is to keep the oils in your hair um 
it's gonna be hard for you to get it out with that so you're probably gonna have to do a double wash like wash it twice and even then you might not get it fully out until the next shower so something to think about you might have a little greasy hair after you put this on for me it's worth it i tend to do it like about once a month and it just kind of like brings in that extra moisture to my hair the way i use it is that like on the day that I'm gonna shower, of course, I'll leave it on for a couple of hours before I actually take a shower. I'll do errands, clean the house, whatever. So yeah, this works really, really great for me. I've been using it for years and it doesn't necessarily make my hair shiny. I just think it brings that extra moisture that my hair lacks sometimes and it, has, it definitely strengthens hair. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much what I do to take care of my hair. I mean, I say it's pretty much it. It's quite a handful of products. But you know, I'm not using these every day. Uh, I try to be as low maintenance as possible. Like I don't, I've never been about buying too, too many products too. I mean, at one point I was, but now I try to save and stuff. My whole thing is that I love having long hair. So you may not really tell here, especially cause I have like oval kind of haircut where it's shorter at the front and longer at the back, but you can see it here. My hair goes, and I just trimmed it, but if you straighten it, my hair probably goes to like down here but my hair is really long. And so my whole thing was that for years, I always wanted to have long hair and I always struggled. Like my hair was falling out at one point. It was breaking a ton. It was so crispy and gross. Um, and that's because I just wasn't using the right products for my hair type. There was, I just had less knowledge about it back then. Ever since I've been following these steps, I've seen such an improvement. My hair falls out a lot less. I mean, I still have a lot of hair and thick hair, so there's gonna be fallout. But yeah, my hair is just a lot healthier and I've been able to maintain it and help it grow so if you're looking to have your hair grow I recommend these steps for you and even if you're not and you just want to have whatever length hair but you just want it to be healthy and you know have some nice curls I recommend this for you so hopefully it helps if you like this video like this video thank you so much for stopping by I would love to have you back on here so if you haven't subscribe be my friend I'd love to be your friend um, if you have any other questions feel free to comment down below I try to always respond to all the comments so yeah as always my friends sending you all a very very big virtual hug and I'll see you guys next time bye